this the best pool or what? Oh, this one, nine. Fun fact. <laughs> Forever by Chris Brown is one of mine and Peter songs. <laughs> before the office and before, before the YouTube before video. The video. Yeah. We predated that. Yeah, it was actually us predating. I'm gonna go running tonight, by the way. It's gonna go running. We're gonna. Oh, oh, go that way, show that way. Look at that. Like the sun and the water. We are in the bayou tonight. Port Orleans Riverside. Ooh, another fun fact, we're just going down memory lane because Sarah used to, this is the this is one of the key resorts of Sarah's Disney love. Yeah, like we'll probably come back here when my family's oh. here just to swim. A newer memory, an old new memory is right here at Muddy Rivers is where we discovered, discovered the lava smoothie. Mm -hmm. I think we might have said that in one of our I first actually, vlogs. For, actually, like, yeah. I still remember it. I walked yeah. over and I was like. It was our first time buying something with a magic band too. Yeah. We were like, ooh, look at that. And then yeah, we're like, we, we we have a magic we band, we can buy it. Over there. No, I thought we went over there to use the magic band, right? No, I don't think so. I, we went back because then everybody else tasted it and they're like, we need them. Yeah, we like, yeah, we bought <laughs> two and then we went back and bought like four more. Yeah. Right up there. Okay, so we're just gonna sit by the pool for a little bit. You all right? Yeah, it's real greasy. <sighs> yeah, we're on this little cute patio. So this is like, we call this Old Man Swimming Hole. It's actually called Old Man, Man Island. Island, but it is one of the best pools that gets in I wish we were going swimming, but we're not. to run at the beginning of the movie. I have to get, we don't live in this, or in Chicago. I need to get more like dry short fit, sleeve, short dry sleeve, fit. yeah. I'm kind of just it's, banking on the fact that come January when I do the dope, I'm gonna get six of them. <laughs> but there's a lot of hot weather between now and January. Yeah. I even cut off the sleeves of one of mine. <laughs> it's not terrible out tonight, but once you start running, it's gonna, it's gonna be hot. Cause it's really humid today. Oh. It was back to being rainy. So yeah, I'm gonna watch, it's Cinderella live action. I hope there's popcorn. Movie found. There's also yoga on the lawn here, which we never knew before for anyone who ever stays here soon. And there's no chairs. I will have to go find a towel. I think there's a bin right there. Okay. One, two, three. Lights, camera, action. Sweaty man, adventure band on. We'll go do 10 miles. <gasps> I don't even know where I'm running. I have to look at the map. I know I can run to a French Quarter from here. Just be brave like a cheetah. Brave like a cheetah. Oh, I'm back. We got popcorn. We got a movie. I need to relax. Solid 5K. New King hereby declares his love for Paul. Look at this bunny trying to watch the novel. The mysterious princess. What'd you think? That was the first time you've actually seen that from start to end, right? Yeah. I didn't fall asleep at all, which I usually do. Should we go this way? Yeah, that'll be closer to the car. Um, but look at right here, look at this, like, where we were watching the movie. And I, like, looked around when I got back from the run and I was like, this is absolutely gorgeous these trees picturesque. it is rather picturesque oh i didn't even see that fountain back there it was being covered up by the screen yeah. but look at these trees i'm gonna put a picture of me in front of that fountain right in there you got one mm -hmm. wow for some reason we usually stayed in so this is called magnolia road maybe maybe and the other area is called Alligator Bayou. We always say the Alligator Bayou, but we would like come and stroll. Magnolia. 
Well, this, these buildings are gorgeous. I love the, the columns and the bricks, but these trees are what get me. It just reminds me of fall. And these like lantern looking lights just reminds me of Hocus Pocus a little bit. And it's got me in the fall spirit. And it's a little chilly tonight. Well, not chilly, but like... Cooler. Just cooler. Yeah, kinda but, like just below 70. Yeah, with like barely a breeze. Ooh, I wanna hop on those so bad. See you later, Port Orleans Riverside, you little gem. Such a beauty. I think it's one of the, I think the Port Orleans are like the most underrated resorts well, we have on property. That they're like the people we talked to a DVC sales person before and they said like they sell the most here. Like it's almost like it feels almost like a DVC. It has like a similar Well, it's vibe. like a deluxe vibe at a moderate price. price. Yeah. So when we talked to a DVC person, they said like this is where they make the most sense. Secretly, we're walking in an angle towards the wrong direction because I'm trying to stay a proper distance to keep Sarah in properly in the camera, but with cars over there, but she's walking towards me because she tends to do that sometimes with the camera. It's funny. Now she's running away angry. But yeah, what she, what she means is, oh no. She keeps falling off. <laughs> um, this resort, the Riverside and French Quarter, are like what entices people to, that wasn't our car. I was like, is someone <laughs> taking our car? Cause literally right as I pressed the lock button, that car turned on, that was weird. Um, we're right next to it though, I see it. That was weird. <laughs> anyway, what Sarah's saying is like, this is the one that entices people the most it's to say like Disney World can be a thing they can keep doing over and over again. But then they buy DVC and they might not ever stay here again. Oh, look where we are. What are we doing? What do you have up your sleeve? Slurpees? Yeah. If you didn't know this was like Sarah and mine's like thing on we were dating, we would go get Slurpees. I think it's like our thing in life. Yeah. We've done it plenty of times since yeah. marriage. Yeah. Actually we do this before we were even dating. And we would see who could get more of the metal straws. Yeah. Let's go get some. Okay, so we are home now. Lilith story time. Eve, it is story time. So today, Eve and I were on a humble walk when she pulled a little bit too hard. So she she was just like sitting there like biting it a little bit and I was like, oh no, not again because she just did that to like her big girl leash. And so we just walked and she pulled and it went and she like was just trotting along like she didn't come to me. So I had to like follow her around until I got close enough to pick her up because like you never know, she could have gotten scared. They were actually mowing the lawn. So like she could have like taken off. So anyways, she was leashless today for about 12 hours. 12 hours ish. So we showed it a little bit in the montage, but we did not actually show you um, what we got. And we're about to show Eve. And it's different because we've always had a retractable leash, um, but this one isn't. So. Just gonna see how it goes, but hopefully she won't be able to bite through it because it's much thicker. Ooh, Minnie Mouse. Min little Minnie Mouse is, I get, we have to cut it and she's busy licking my sweaty el elbow. <laughs> this is yours. A bow to match your bow. Oh, she's right. gotta watch Little Mermaid real quick. Here we go, little Miss Muppet. Let's see, gonna have freedom. What'd you think of it? Gonna get a little getting used to, right? Yeah. Where should we put it? Um, hang it? Can you hang it on that? With the aprons? Perfect. Do you want a treat? Do you want a treat? What do you think of it, Eve? Do you like it? She's like, I went to the bathroom outside, I need my treat now. I don't stink anymore. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she did a high kick. And my hand was sticking out, so it's like I punched her in the thigh. No, with a kneecap. With a kneecap, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's late. We're going to bed. Today was a relaxed day. Thanks for joining us on the Brook Art Project. Boop, boop. That will not be saying an ever again in any <laughs> outro. So thank you for the enjoying the one night show. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Today was a fun day. <laughs> we already get signed off. But I just wanted to say 
thank you for joining us on a relaxing day. We needed after the crazy weekend that we had, we needed today just to walk around a resort and relax. Yes. We feel like we, when we first moved here, we went to the resorts a lot more. Um, we think it had to do with like the sun going down earlier. It was easier to go to the parks because of the hours and such. Um, but now we're going to... Yeah, well, now that the... And like the reverse of that would be like now that the sun's out later we can go and enjoy a resort because it's hard to enjoy a resort when it's nighttime compared to a park at nighttime so it was easier to just go to the parks when it was night when i got out of work and it was time for us to go play compared to now where it's like we've got two to three hours of sunlight when i got home from work yeah so see more of the resort second time around it's good to be, <laughs> it's home. Good to be home we know what our goals are we know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.